So we're in front of the Scandinavian Boreal Outdoor Cabin Sauna. This one is the seven foot six by seven foot six. It's our medium sized model. We also have a longer version, which is 7.6 by 10 and a half. This cabin is amazing. It's uh, made out of a two inch thick log profile, thermo spruce to be precise and it has a large window that people enjoy very much, especially in the forest. If you have a cabin in the woods or if you have a lot of uh, greenery around, it's something that people really, really enjoy about this unit. It's also super spacious. It has a high ceiling, two level benches. Uh, the black color also uh, is a stain that is included. This helps protect the wood for a longer period and gives it a that nice look as well. One of the really cool thing about that window also is that it's a double pane Our door is extremely robust, has a big wooden frame, very large, very high uh, for individuals of all sizes. The window is also very thick, which ensures uh, maximum retention of the heat within the unit. We have a nice uh, door handle. You know, a lot of times you'll find outdoor saunas have a uh, not a very good mechanism uh, for the door. This one is a really good really good mechanism also uh, the ability to lock if you're going out and you don't want people to go inside of the unit that ensures no intruder in your sauna so let's take a look inside as you can see it's pretty spacious it's a four person sauna double layers of benches this ensures that you know you're sitting up high in the heat really getting that robust heat that you're looking for when you're in the sauna here we've placed some LED lights uh, behind the backrests to create you know, a sense of uh, openness in the room, which gives you a super relaxing mood. Today, in terms of heating source, we got a Hume 13 kilowatt wood stove. You could also get an electric stove, Hume Hive Mini, Hume Drop would work, a Saku heater, any type of electric stove would work here. We selected the wood stove today because of the rustic look and the classic usage of that cabin, which is always in the woods. If you're off the grid, this is a really, really nice unit to get. And you know, you have wood all around, why not use it? What's great about the wood stove is really that it provides a authentic sauna experience. People who get wood stoves oftentimes will really enjoy the ritualistic aspect of the sauna where you bring the wood inside, you start the fire, you see the fire, you smell the fire around when you go outside to cool off in between sessions. This is something that is really magical almost. Obviously the heat source when you use wood will really give you the most powerful heat that you can get. You're gonna be able to create a lot of steam as well with the large thermal mass that you have there. You have a, a large quantity of rocks and as you know, uh, what's great about having a lot of rocks in your sauna heater, all the rocks will absorb the heat. They'll slowly radiate heat across the room giving you that richness that you want. You'll find that sometimes some heating elements uh, that you're gonna buy with almost no rocks gives you a faster heating time but a harsh heat like a slapping heat which i feel doesn't feel as good as that slow burn richness of heat that you're getting with a large thermal mass now as far as the inside we have all thermo spruce structure uh, the thermal modification of the wood will provide superior resistance to outdoor elements, superior resistance to mold, temperature changes, less susceptible uh, for the wood to bend, contract, and expand over time because of the thermal process uh, that it goes through. All in all, great sauna, respects all of the classic Finnish sauna style rules and layout configurations. If you have a nice scenery around, that's a unit that you should absolutely consider.